Hello, thank you for joining me today. What I'm going to be doing today is a little project where I have, I've had in mind for a while, uh, but after seeing somebody else make it the other week, uh, Claire from making it out of the woods, I'm going to show you how to turn this, two pieces of wood, into this. So if you want to see how it comes out, carry on watching. Right, all I'm going to do is get my design, get a piece of wood and I'm just going to put PVA on the back of it or you could use Pritt stick or Yoohoo or something like that just put a bit of PVA on the back of it spread it on like so And then stick it to a piece of wood. And then just let it go tacky, let it dry. And then you're ready to cut it out. Just make sure you get all your bubbles out from underneath. Right, I've got the pattern stuck on. I'm just going to use the bandsaw now and cut it out as close to the line as I can and then finish it off with a sander. Time to get horny, baby.
I'm going to take the bull by the horns and put this thing together. Right, just got to get on and sand all these back to the edge. Right, all I'm going to do now is just sand the paper off, off the uh, top of it while glued on. Right, as you can see though now, I took all the paper off, so all I'm going to do now is just get a piece of sandpaper and lightly round the edges over, not too, too round, just going to give it a light sanding on the edges just to round them off so they're not as sharp. Right then, so as you can see, or if you've gathered by now, that it's a bull head. So it's going to go like that. What I'm actually going to do with mine, I'm going to wax that piece in uh, Tudor Oak. I'm going to wax the horns, but I'm going to paint that red so it gives the effect that it's got red nostrils and red eyes i'm just going to get on with that now and i'll i'm not sure you as i'm waxing and painting it obviously you don't want to see that's a bit boring so i'm going to stop the camera now and i'll show you when it's all put together
Right then, I finished that project now. Uh, I'll just show you it now. You can see I've painted the back of it red to give it the effect like it's a, a raging bull in effect. Uh, I've put uh, black bison, Tudor oak for the horns and the face part and I just put a little uh, plastic curtain ring in the, in the nose for a, a bull, bull nose. Uh, and on the back, all I've done is used a little bit of wood glue underneath, and then I just put a couple of brads in, and I put one of those little picture hangers on the back of it, so you can just hang it up somewhere. Uh, I was going to originally going to put it on uh, on the shed door outside of my new shed, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang it up on my uh, tool board in here, I think. Um, so I'll just hang it up on the board there now and I'll show you it in place. As you can see I've put it up on the wall there now. Underneath my uh, dad's shed, what my daughter got me. And uh, my Dawn of Justice sign which I cut out on a scroll so. But yeah that's the uh, finished product there. Yeah, it's quite an easy project to do. You could do it on a scroll saw, you could do it on a band saw, or if you've got uh, a small enough blade on a jigsaw, I suppose you could do it on a jigsaw. Um, this one I've done, I actually got the design off Google, and it's about five and a half inches tall from the bottom of the nose to the top of the head, and then the horns uh, roughly A4 size, uh, about 11 inches, I think. But uh, yeah. Like I say, it probably take you about an hour to cut everything out and uh, get everything sanded down, get the paper off. And then the longest part is if you paint it, it's going to take, well, you know how long paint takes to dry. It could take an hour, it could take three hours. But uh, I just cheated a little bit. I painted it and then put it in front of my little fire in here so it speed up the process a little bit. But the wax, you know, you put the wax on, wipe it on, leave it a couple of minutes to soak in and then wipe it off. But uh, yeah, that's everything in this video now. Uh, if you like the video, please smash the like button. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Uh, if you don't like the video, can you please leave a comment in the section below and tell me why you don't like it and I'll see if I can improve it for next time. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching.